Uh, this essay is about um, something called the Philosopher's Stone. Um, when I was in college, um, I was a philosophy major, and I was I was absolutely fascinated by the notion that back over two millennia ago, Plato came up with in his uh, one of his um, writings the the began the issue of the Philosopher's Stone. And that continued until around the 13th or 14th century. So it's been around for almost two millennia. Um, and back at the time, you know, six, seven hundred years ago, the, the alchemists, the people that were into alchemy, were trying to take um, what they call base metals, which were things like um, lead, and then through some kind of magical transformation that they would make the lead into gold. Um, and, and that notion of becoming, you know, taking everyday substances and turning into gold, I mean, that would be a lovely idea. I mean, be rich. Um, that was the beginning of my adult life. Fifty years later, I'm at the other end of my adult life. And it is um, problematic that I will invent, through alchemy, <laughs> some way to transform lead into gold. Uh, And interestingly, when I was in high school and graduated from high school in 1961, in that year, I had to memorize, or I, I picked whatever I wanted to memorize, but one of the uh, prose was um, from Silas Marner. In olden days, angels came and led men away from the city of threatening destruction. We see no white winged angels now. That was from Silas Marner. Silas Marner was written by George Eliot in 1861, a hundred years before I graduated from high school. A century after she wrote that novel, I was quoting and reciting in front of Mrs. Davis, my 12th grade English teacher, in olden days, angels came. Silas Marner was preoccupied by making money and retaining money. He was a miser. He wasn't doing anything with his money, but he was making it. Until a young, very young little girl came into his life. And her name was Epi. And Epi showed Silas Marner the light. So this essay is about the benefits of education, the benefits of reading, and the benefits of memorizing things. <laughs> over 50 years ago. I learned a lot. I mean, of all the things that I remember from Mount Lebanon High School, that is the one thing, the memorizing of poetry and prose. I, To this day, I still remember good chunks of what is the rare as a day in June, whenever come more perfect days when the earth and heaven But it, it helps me frame who I am. I'm not going to be the miser. Not like the old Silas Martyr. I know that there are people in this world that are out there that are suffering and hurting. 
people in America and people throughout the world. I've traveled in America, in North America. I've traveled throughout the entire world. And there are people out there that I know and about whom I am concerned about economically so that they can eat and, and have a halfway decent standard of living. Each of us needs to understand that the accumulation of gold does you no good unless you learn how to share your wealth. Um, meantime, you take care.